Jose. Go, go, go! Now you're gonna see what I see. Esta semana exploramos el gran estreno de Amigos de Armas, producción que ya puedes disfrutar en los mejores cines. Boleto de cine.com, de entrada personal al fascinante mundo del cine. Hello. Hey. Hey, babe. Did I wake you? No, I'm just at the hotel. We're about to have some breakfast. Listen, Baker, why you're doing this? I need you to know that you can tell me anything, David. David? Yeah, I gotta call you right back. Hey! What? Look! Let's go! Come on! Go! Go! Here we go. Ready and action! I was sent an article by Guy Lawson at Rolling Stone, and I just thought, wow, this really could make a great movie. I have a big idea. I love how Todd Phillips' brain works. I was very interested to see how he was going to take the article and realize it cinematically. They call guys like us war dogs. Hey, go like this. Bottom feeders who make money off of war without ever stepping foot on the battlefield. And the punks can't play. It was meant to be derogatory, but we kind of liked it. 2.8 million. Just sign here. Hey, There is something to watching people with this hustler kind of attitude screw the system. A couple of stoners in Miami Beach becoming the biggest arms dealers in the country. To see it come to life is great fun. Frankly, we were a tad concerned with your performance history against a deal of this size. But after meeting you two face to face, we feel like we're in good hands on this one. We won't let you down, sirs. guy who's in his 20s who is this big international arms dealer. It's a kind of role that you can really just have, you know, a lot of fun with it. Miles is a world-class actor. He's naturally gifted. Miles makes David an interesting character. You told me you guys were selling bed sheets. I also told you that we were selling other stuff too. I thought you meant pillows. Good, cut. David's cerebral, but at the same time endearing and sensitive. The other character is a bit dangerous and freewheeling. It's a wonderful role for Jonah. I missed you, bro. Go for a ride. My character is really a wheeler and dealer. He was just so explosive that I just was like, all right, let's do it. Ah! Wanna do a bong hit? Ah! Me and Jonah went back and forth, like, how are we gonna portray this guy? And Jonah one day came into me and he goes, I'll tell you one thing, I have his laugh down. <laughs> He looks like he would laugh like that. Spray tan, all the like Miami, Gucci, loud, early 2000s clothes. Awesome. Give me a smile. You look like a Jordanian Tom Selleck. Into another I really wanted to have a big scope of guys who are international arms dealers. We started in Romania, and then we went to Las Vegas, Miami, Morocco. We shot in El Centro. It was not easy. All the travel was crazy. Sorry, Excuse kind me. of an emergency. Sorry. Don't worry, I have to go first, I'm American. This is one movie where we really took it to another level. Todd has this ability to make things exciting and humorous. He has his finger on the pulse of what's cool. I'm not a bad man, but in certain situations, I have to ask myself, what would a bad man do? These guys start with nothing, no education, no anything, and become wealthy beyond their wildest dreams. That's attractive as hell to watch. I don't want to come off as the ugly American, but this feels like the moment where we're supposed to offer him a gift. Am I correct? You're correct. All right. Could have just started with that, you know, saved all this bullshit. Yeah. 